Now, Magic listeners, on what we need to do to help you guys stay in the loop. Well, I can, and thank you so much, Larry, for having us on. Um, Jerome is, and I are friends who now have become colleagues, and it's wonderful to work together on this initiative. But yes, it, a lot of people don't realize that by 2040, 2045, we're going to have such a huge explosion of population that the populations of the cities of Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, Arlington, and Corpus Christi are essentially going to be overlaid onto our region. So we must expand our transit system. Otherwise, we'll be in hopeless gridlock. And we're proposing a very bold plan to do that. Uh, Mayor Turner has encouraged us to go bold or go home, and that's what we're doing. And we're hoping to seek bonding authority from the voters in the November election. Now, and our transit city is one of the finest in the country, am I correct? Correct. We have a great system, yes. Yeah, we, we have the most up-to-date buses. We do. Uh, the rail line is expanding and serving some unique parts of our city. So uh, first of all, I just want to give kudos to y'all at Metro for doing a fine job for the city. But I know a project like this is going to cost some crazy dollar, is it not? I mean, you expect, well, what, does. 4 million people in the next couple of years? It does, yes, exactly. And yes, it does cost a lot of money, but it's a wonderful investment. As all the studies show, transit booms the economy. For every dollar you put into transit, you create jobs, you create opportunity, and it's a it's been proven over many years to be a very worthwhile and in fact essential investment for a community. So in order to keep Houston being a place people want to come and live and work, we really need to expand our system. Other large markets like New York or Chicago uh, have ingrained uh, transit systems, Atlanta, Detroit. And I know when people come here, they're like, I can't get a bus to go here. I got, this is this city's so spread out. So how are we going to address those needs in this new plan? Well, we have 75 miles in the new plan of what's known as bus rapid transit. And bus rapid transit is a very special service where buses that mimic rail cars roll on rubber in dedicated corridors. And so it's a new concept relatively in the transit world the last 10 or 15 years that's coming into its own all over the country. And we're going to be on the vanguard of that. We're also going to expand our rail system take the rail line to Hobby Airport, also build rail and some other corridors, and then we're going to give a boost to our regular bus service, make some improvements just on the regular bus service that will vastly expand efficiency and accessibility. And then, of course, we will have 110 miles of what we're calling our regional express service. Listeners may know it now as our park and ride service, where you park at lots in the suburbs and take an express bus downtown on the HOV lanes. And we're expanding that service. And maybe eventually, when autonomous vehicles come online, we will be able to have autonomous buses that are electronically connected that operate just like a rail line. And because of the autonomous technology, are safe enough to speed down the HOV lanes at, say, 80 miles an hour. So we have all sorts of things in the works. That's just a start, but those are some of the fundamental parts of our plan. Metronext.org, metronext.org, metronext.org. Because the bottom line is you need feedback from all of us on how we can put this in place, correct? We do. We do. The plan we develop is only as good as the input we get from the community. So we're asking the community to please go online and give us your comments on what you'd like to see in the new plan and what would most benefit you and your friends, neighbors, and employers, and, 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 and families. So, uh, curious, because I'm a land, geography kind of guy, and these things have always been interesting to me, and my wife used to work for the Harris County Toll Road, so I was like, oh, yeah. how does this work, and how does that happen, and she said, well, some people own this land, and some people own that land, and some people can't buy that land, so I guess getting to the question is, what kind of obstacles do you guys run into when you're trying to expand, and you're running into people that won't sell you the land you need to put a lane in? Well, or is we, that a problem? We've had pretty good luck with it, okay. and Jerome is looking yes. at me. He has some thoughts, too. Jerome, well, no, the only thing I was going to say about that, whenever you're looking to expand and build, there's going to be some type 
of obstacle or opposition to it. We expect that we understand it. But we also know that this is a region that's growing and everyone wants to see us thrive and have a great quality of life. So there are going to be some you know, obstacles that we're going to have to move around and maneuver to get it done. The great thing about Metro Next and this plan, we're getting that feedback and that input from people now. We want people to know what we're planning to do and why it's so important for everyone to give us their voice and their input. Because I would want my business to be on one of your lines. Absolutely. I mean, I just, you know, no, no, you need to stop at my store. <laughs> this is what I want. This is what I want. So we're excited about the expansion. I, I feel good that we get a chance to get some really good feedback, maybe for the first time in a long time, on what you guys uh, are planning to do. I love your commercials. It makes so much sense. I just never thought that the entire population of four other metro cities in the state of Texas would all converge. Five, five of them. Five. Five. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's, that's, it's that's amazing, huge. Isn't yeah. it? It, it is. really is. And it's a, a testament to our community and how vital and appealing it is, but we'll only stay that way right. if we can move people around. So it just couldn't be more important. Mayor Turner has made a real mission of expanding transit, not only to keep our economy going, but to provide opportunities for every part of Houston. Yeah. Well, we're excited and I'm glad that we have an opportunity to be a part of that. Um, the, I, 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 I don't want to say town hall meetings, but I guess that's... No, but they yes. are. They're, they're open house. Yeah. They're, like okay. town, they're kind of town hall style from the standpoint of, and that's why it's important, in addition to giving the comments online, we have had right now in, the, we're in this period of 17 uh, public meetings that we're having, where we really are inviting people to come out to those meetings. The maps are laid out. Look at the maps. Give us your suggestion. Write them on sticky notes. Yeah. Have the conversations. We have people there to dictate and, and write down. If you don't want to fill out a card, we have people there who can take your information so that your voice can be heard. We don't want to have any obstacles for people being able to give us their input. So these meetings are important. You can find a meeting location on that website, metronext.org. So just think. Think about what you would like to see. Think about maybe you want to drive for Metro. <laughs> Let's yeah, just say. Oh, we yes, that we have 4,000 employees, yeah. and they're the heart of our system, of course. Yeah, I just I, I remember being invited to the bus competitions and, and coming out, and I mean, we have had some of the most wonderful relationships with, with the drivers and guys and ladies who work for Metro. So it feels like family. It feels like home. I guess that's what I'm, I'm getting to. So um, we really want you guys to take advantage of the website, and the, the address is www.metronext.org. It's just Metro, M-E-T-R-O-N-E-X-T, -E -E just like it sounds, www.metronext.org. And we so hope you'll go on the website and give us your thoughts and your comments.